Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khadija. I read class for Delta, unit number 12, The Weeping Princess. A shaft of light fell on Asim's face as he laid asleep in his room. He walked strangely, he sat up, rabbit his eyes and stretched. He gave a big jump and crumbled out of bed. Asim was pleased that it was a nice, bright day because his friend Yasir had said he would come and play football with him. It was Sunday, so there was a no school, but it had rained the whole week, so the, so the boys were really looking forward to a game. To a game of football. He watched and dressed and then ran down front to the kitchen where his mother was making puris. Asim loved eating puris and always looked for a way to breakfast on Sunday. As he was halfway through his breakfast, there was a loud screech and a deep rumbling, rumbling sound from outside that sounds like thunder said his mother I think we're going to get some work some more running today Asim left his food and ran outside he looks up at the sky and his face grew sad over the town to the west the warrior had Thunder clawed moving toward his house. It felt sound be running her. He thought to himself, and then Yasir who not come. Asim put his hand deep into his pocket and walked back to the house glumly. As he reached his doorstep, he heard the sound of a car. He turned to see an old Austin motor car pull up outside his gate. A tall grey fried English man stepped out of the car. Asim ran to the gate to meet him. Hello Uncle Mike. He called as he Englishman went through the gate. Uncle Mike was an old friend of Asim's father. He often come, came to see the family on Sunday, and it was and it was usually at breakfast time because he loved puri too. He thought that Asim's mother were, was the best cook in the world. Uncle Mike helped her. Large brown packet. Here you are, Asim. I have brought you a present. He gave him the he gave him the packet and as soon as they got inside the house. Asim. Asim opens it in there was an old album and a metal box. Whatever can ha this be? He and hundred of con Colorful stamp brought out on the floor in the room. <clears throat> in the who was stamp stamp he yellowed as the whole box twists over and hundreds of colorful stamp so out the floor in the end base to there were hundreds. A stamp thick in neat for an each page. The said Uncle Mike is my whole stamp. Alban. When I was young, I used to clap. Stamp. I thought that you would like them. As my own children are all glow up. No. And I have gone up bread. Most of the stamp and real corn. Or dream once, but I am sure you will. 
you will have lost of funds throwing them out. As my own children are well grow up now and have gone abroad. Most of the shrimp are very common ordinary ones. But I am sure you I a lot and lots of the shrimp of all. There are no really rare shrimps in the collection. However, I am sure that if you continue to collect shrimps one day, you will find a rare one. His eyes complete, he spied at us. How well I know if it if if it continue to collect shrimp one day, you will find a rare one. His eyes winkled and he smiles at us. How will I know if it is a crow? Swamp asked Asim, how I am sure you will. Now when you find one, you have to be carefully that it is not a fraud. One, two now. Why? Your mother is making me some hot puri. Sit down and I will and I will now. How well if it phrase from ask our name? Oh, I sure you will know when you find one. You have wild your wild your you have wild your mother is making me so hot puri. Just then there was a loud clap of thunder and the rain began to pour, pour down. Uncle Mike made himself comfortable in a large chair. Asim looked out of the window at the pudding, ran and then sat at Uncle Mike's feet to listen. Uncle Mike began his story. When I was young, I used to collect stamp. I was very keen on stamp and my Parents were always writing to their relation all over the words every time they fought. They got a reply and on each envelope that came through the past, there was always a carefully stamp. Sometimes their friend wrote to me and said to me, Stamp for me collection. Now you, now that a great number of people in the world collect stamp. In fact, soon after the first stamp was issued in 1840 in England, people began to collect them. The first stamp was called the Penny Black, and today it is worth of a lot of money. When stamps are being printed, the print have to be carefully that all of them are exactly the same. If one of the stamp is different in, in any way, then every collector wants to own that stamp and it becomes very precious. Asim's eyes were wide open and he was listening carefully to what Uncle Mike was saying. His mother came into the room and asked Uncle Mike to come to come into the dining room because his puri were ready. Asked him and Uncle Mike came to the dining room and Uncle Mike continued his story. Well, when I was just a boy, the king of England was a man called Gogas. He was only 36 now, when someone who had been king of from 25 years. It is quite a great Aussies. The people in many countries collaborated this inventory. In Canada, they is used stamps showing the king's great Prince in Elizabeth.
When the owner sheets of 100 stamp short, a time colored mark under the eyes of the prince, there were only about 80,000 of these stamp prints, and every collector wants exactly like a tiny tours. Whatever a letter came from Kendall, I always look to see if the weeping princess was on it inside. But alas, I never found one. Soon afterwards, continued Uncle Mike. Some clever people began to make their own copies. They took the ivory stamp of the prince and very cleverly made a mark on the just like a tree. Here, lost of pupils through this frog, dead. Stamp for really and paid quite his place. Fries for them, but I do not, did not even get a frog one. Uncle Mike finished his breakfast and went to wash his hand. Thank you, he said to Hassim brother. That was most delicious. He gave her a big smile and they turned to ask him. Well, ask him, I hope you have more luck that I did not look. Look after the stem fell and one day, you never know, you may, may well find a very day stem. My day. One day, you never know you may well find a very rare stem. I hope so, said Asim. That would be really exciting. Thank you very much, Uncle Mike. Now I have something to note today. Uncle Mike flowed and went into the next room to talk to Asim further. Thanks. <laughs>